apologies for the noise outside you might hear cars passing but i'm right beside my window anyways welcome back to my channel guys thank you so much for clicking on my video i'm right at the window so you're gonna see the sun coming in which i don't mind hope you guys don't mind anyways um so in a previous video i had spoke about the jet program and interact but in today's video i'm gonna be focusing on interact so i'm gonna be talking about the recruitment process for interact if you're interested please stay tuned <laughs> The very first thing that you need to do is go on Interact's website. I'm going to be linking their website in the description box below. The next thing is, once you're on their website, you're going to select Apply Now. And you're going to create a profile on their website and you're going to enter your personal information. If you are successful, then the next step is for them to schedule a telephone interview with you which means that they're going to be asking you some questions based on what you have put on the online form. If you are successful, then you will attend a seminar and an interview in person. I think this is where you might do your demo lesson, but I have heard that there have been some changes, so I'm not 100% sure. But if you know about the specific process then you guys can leave it in the description box below so that other persons can benefit from the information you're gonna hand in your hard copy documents if you have successfully passed the the in-person interview and based on information that you've gotten you see that this is okay this is a good fit for you and you want to come to japan to work then the next step would be for them to send your document to tokyo so once your document has been sent to Tokyo then you will you will be offered a contract at this time you can accept the contract or you can decline the contract if you accept the contract then they will send you a certificate of eligibility which means that it's I think it's a document that you carry with you to the Japanese Embassy so that you can get your working visa so this is the placement um, step so once you're at the placement step the next thing is for them to tell you specifically where or what kind of contract you are on and this is also where you will figure out where in japan you will be placed because japan is a very big country so you can be placed anywhere in japan luckily for me i was placed in yokohama which is like next door to tokyo so i'm kind of like i'm in the city which i'm so grateful for because i don't think i can do the country life style not for me anyway so this is they said that this the placement process is the longest process because usually if you are on a regular contract then you would come to japan through either march or august that's when most people come to japan but there are people who leave japan random time throughout the year and they need to fill that position so of course people who have submitted all their documents and are waiting they might also come before or after depending on the need of interact the final step would be for you to come to japan and once you're here then you more than likely will have a five days orientation if you come in march or august then you'll have an orientation for five days where you'll have training and they'll tell you about the company you're gonna learn about japan and documents and all of those stuff and so it's orientation slash training for five days and that's pretty much it and then they on the fifth day usually during orientation you stay at a hotel usually depend i guess depends on where what the branch does but yeah and so on the f the final day of training they have someone who carry you to your apartment carry you to the city hall to get your documents to register your to register you to for your pension your i think pension health insurance and other thing hanko stuff like that 
so hanko is like a stamp i've never used my anchor i don't even know what the purpose is but i think it's very important for banking and all of that oh the person who also carries you to sort out your banking information yeah and carry you to your apartment and then that's it you're on your own the very first day of work they usually the same person i guess more than likely the same person would carry you to the school to your school for the very first day and that's about it i think that's about it for the recruitment process very very simple very easy you know more step one go on go online step two telephone interview step three um attend seminar in person interview step four send documents to tokyo step five accept the offer step six placement and step seven is orientation and training in japan all right so i think that's it for this video guys so thank you so much for watching let me know if you have any questions any concerns and if you have anything to add to this video please leave them in the comment section below because i was told that you are now required to have a driver's license if you are from jamaica and if you're from the philippines anyways bye guys